So, hi, it's Martin uh, from The Meat Puppets, and I just thought I'd do a quick tutorial, because I noticed today Descript drops a new AI feature. Apparently, they're going to be dropping loads of new AI features coming forward. Um, but today, they've dropped their new AI feature, which is this. New, faster, better AI voice cloning. Now, if you don't know what Descript is, it's a tool that really easily lets you use text to edit video and audio. Uh, another one of the features they had for quite a while is that you can just write some stuff down, like in a like in a as though it's in a word document, and it'll generate a voiceover based on the words that you've written. Um, one thing you have been able to do for a while is also clone your own voice. So we're not affiliated to Descript in any kind of way. Um, you know, I've spent my life in Avid or Premiere or Resolve or Pro Tools or any of those traditional tools. And um, since we started doing the podcast, Descript has just been the best way to edit it, um, quickest way to edit it. Um, and one tool we use quite a bit is a little tool called Overdub, which means if we make some little mistakes, which we've been known to do in the podcast, we can just write it and pick the voice and it generates our new voice without us having to re-record. So really handy tool. So apparently they're making this much quicker now. In the past... If you wanted to clone your voice, you had to send them around about 45 minutes worth of yourself talking and then wait for 24 hours for it to come back. Apparently now it's all lightning quick. Um, you just need a short little 30 second segment and it clones your voice. So we're going to give that a little test drive. So uh, if you want to find out more about it, just go up into this little bit. You'll see at the top of the Descript.com website. And it will take you over to this page, which will show you some more about the new things that are dropping. There's a handy little video there um, that will take you through the things they've got coming and what their roadmap is. But I'm not going to play that here or go through this here. Uh, we're just going to jump straight into the script and uh, see if this is any good. Okay, so let's go over to Descript. This is the kind of page you're given when um, Descript opens. You have your drives and your projects down the side here. But this is the new bit you'll see if you've just updated Descript. You have this AI speakers. I think it used to be AI voices or um, something like that. Uh, but it's now AI speakers. And you can see it's brought in our old speakers. So that's my voice model there, Martin. Uh, this is uh, an interviewee we had on, a guy called Andonese, uh, who's an actor who let us clone his voice. And this is Paul, my co-host on The Meat Puppets. So I think I'm still going to have access to those, but let's go ahead and create a new voice. So the first thing you want to do is click on this new speaker button. Let's click on that. And then it's going to ask you, create a new AI speaker to use with Overdove and text-to-speech generation. So I'm going to give this a name. I've already got one called Martin. So I'm going to call this Martin New Descript. Okay, and click confirm. And it pops up this little box. Now, obviously, if you're training somebody's voice, um, they need permission that you're happy for them to use it. So it gives you this little bit of script to record. Now, experience tells me that I need to record this in the same style that I want the voice to come back. So I'm going to try and record it as conversationally as possible. So kind of in this style that I'm talking to you now. Okay, this might be embarrassing. I might just skip this bit. But um, I'm going to record this now. I want Descript to create an artificial version of my voice that I can use to create speech speak that sounds softly. like me, I'm while others are loud. Every day we tell stories, ask questions, and share jokes. Okay, so I'll just click stop there. So it's a 32 second record and it's done there. And you have to agree to this. So by submitting, I authorize Descript to enable speech generation for the speaker. No one will be able to use this speaker to create speech without my consent. Okay, so I'm going to click Submit. Now, I've not cut anything out here. Um, bear in mind, you used to have to wait 24 hours. At the moment, on 11 Labs, it's like a month you've got to wait to get your voice model back. And there it is. It's just done it. I don't know how long that was. Maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds. I now have a new voice. Okay, so let's just see how this voice actually works. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is I've set up a little test project where we're going to test drive this voice and compare it to my other voice. So uh, I'm just going to hide this for a second because um, I've got all my projects in here. Don't want you to see any of my projects that I've got hiding behind there. Just open this little tutorial and that's open. So what we have here is uh, this is a little snippet from um, one of the Meat Puppets episodes that I've just brought into this project. So this is real audio of real me. Well, okay, well, of course, of course, we're going to be covering all the latest AI tools and news. Oh, I hate the sound of my own voice. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is if I just come across here and just click, it asks me to start writing. So I'm going to speed this next bit up, but all I'm going to do is just rewrite out what we've got there. So here we go. Okay, finished writing that now. So I've just typed out exactly what I've said down here. And when it's in this blue writing here, it means that it's going to try and generate a voice because there's not a voice associated with it and there's not any audio associated with it. So where I have this add speaker, I'm going to click on here. Now I've got loads of voices in here, but if I just quickly scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see this, my AI speakers, and there's Martin new descript. So if I click on that, what's going to happen is it's going to start generating what I've written in my new AI voice. So I'll just click on that. Now, while this can take a little while, I'm going to leave this going. Oh, I've just noticed I have going to add a speaker here as well. So I'm going to add the same speaker. So, okay, so this is all now in Martin new Descript voice. And what you'll see is down the bottom here, what it's done is it's inserted all the text, but there is not any audio. There is no audio at all. No audio. And it takes a little while. Um, when I say a little while, it's usually about a minute or so before it's generated this text. So we're just going to wait. You can see there over here, this is my audio from before. That's my recorded audio from the podcast. But what it's actually doing is generating audio here. And you can see that this is flashing up here. That means it's still generating. Maybe I actually need to click done writing. Maybe if I'd done that first. Oh, here it comes. There it is. So it's generated the first bit and it's going to be generating the second bit. I'm going to wait for it all to generate so we can give it a reveal all at the same time. See if it's any good. I'll leave this for real time so you can see how long it takes. I'm on a... Um, Intel i9 um, with a decent NVIDIA graphics card. I think it's a 4070. I'm not sure if that make, actually makes any difference whether because this is probably happening in the cloud rather than locally. So I think the speed is the speed. One thing I have noticed is this is slower than the old overdub feature. Maybe that's because it's new and they've got a new AI engine. Um, maybe it's because a lot of people may be trying it out right now. But in saying that, I haven't had to wait 24 hours to uh, train my voice. So, I feel like I should play some music or something while this is waiting. Come on, come on, come on. Someone once told me that if you move your curse around, they, it speeds things up. So, I'm going to continue to do that. Speeds things up whilst I do this. And as, oh, no, it's still not there. Still, oh, and here it comes. There it is. So I don't know how long that was. Probably about a minute and a half. Shall we have a listen to my new AI voice, which I literally trained about two minutes ago. So here we go. I'm just going to hit play. Let's have a listen. Well, okay. Well, of course, of course, we're going to be converting all the latest AI tools and news that we've come across this week. And I'm somewhere between a mini digger and an eight foot skip. I am having some building work done. How we might get interrupted. You never know. Okay, so you might have noticed a couple of things in there. Uh, I actually spelt covering wrong. So I said converring, which it absolutely did. So I'm just going to change that. And that should be as simple as click right, come into here, delete the end, and then click done writing. Now, what it will do there is it will wait until it's regenerated all that and replace it. In the meantime, it'll just leave the audio that it generated in before. So anyway, let's have another listen. Let's have another listen. Well, okay. 
Well, of course, of course, we're going to be conferring all the latest AI tools and news that we've come across this week. And I'm somewhere between a mini digger and an eight foot skip. I am having some building work done. How we might get interrupted. You never know. It sounds a bit like me. Um, but it's not bad, you know, it's not bad at all. I'm just going to change the other bits that I realize I got completely wrong here. So, um, I mistyped there and so, and I mistyped here and then that'll be regenerating that now. So let's just have a quick little bit of a compare and contrast. So this is real me. Well, okay. Well, of course, of course, we're going to be covering all the latest AI tools and news. And this is AI me. Well, okay. Well, of course, of course, we're going to be conferring all the latest AI tools and news that we've come across this week. It's all right, you know, it's all right. If I was doing an automated tutorial or something like that, I think, you know, this wouldn't be too bad. Typically, I've used the overdub feature when we've said something wrong in the middle of a podcast. So we're just updating a few words and that it seems to work a lot better when we're doing that. Script has always been a little bit dodgy, in my opinion. Eleven Labs has always been much better. But to have this kind of functionality directly within uh, Descript is absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to do one more little test here. I'm going to cut and paste this. So cut this, and I'm just going to come down here, um, hit return, and I'm going to paste it in here. So it's just copied the same text again. I'm going to change the speaker to my old AI voice and let's see if we can do a compare. So if I just get my old AI voice, so this is the previous version of Descript, this one. I've got this version here, which is the previous version of Descript Overdub. And I've got this one here, which is the new all singing, all dancing one. So this one, 24 hours to train, 45 minutes worth of voice. This one here, the new Descript. Uh, about 30 seconds of voice and I got it back in about a minute or so. So let's just have a listen to both of these. I am just going to have to wait again for this second one to generate. Um, you see, it's still flashing here. That means it's still generating. Again, try my little mouse trick. Move your mouse in a circle. It's meant to speed up. It doesn't, but it makes me feel better that I'm not wasting my time. Okay. We shall wait. I'm so tempted to cut this, but I think it's important just to leave it so you know how long this takes. Maybe a better way of doing it would be to type everything you need, then go make a brew and come back, and I imagine that it'd be ready by the time you've made a brew. But currently, it is taking this long. Maybe just play some music. We'll play some music here. Here comes some music. Are you enjoying the music? It's funny this, because I'm um, recording this without any music, which I'm going to put on in the edit, so I've no idea what you're listening to. Haven't made that decision yet. probably want to jump to the result maybe just fast forward this a little bit but if you want to see how long it takes um okay i can see the first bits done so we're going to take a listen so this is new voice well okay well of course of course we're going to be covering all the latest ai tools and news that we've come across this week and then this is my old ai voice well okay well of course of course we're going to be covering all the latest ai tools and news that we've come across this week now, the new one sounds much better to me. Much well, better. Well, okay. Well, of course, of course, we're going to be covering all the latest AI tools and news that we've come across this week. Yeah, way better than that. Well, okay. Well, of course, of course, we're going to be covering all the latest AI tools and news that we've come across this week. Let's try the second sentence. Okay, this is the new descript. And I'm somewhere between a mini digger and an eight foot skip. I'm having some building work done, so we might get interrupted. You never know. Okay, and I'm just going to try this one. And I'm somewhere between a mini digger and an eight foot skip. I'm having some building work done, so we might get interrupted. You never know. Okay, yeah, it's infinitely better. It's infinitely better. Well done, Descript. It's really good. Um, 
I know what you're going to say now. I'm going to delete this one, which is the old AI voice, because I think we've decided that that's been superseded now. Uh, bye bye, old AI Martin. Um, let's just get rid of that. Um, delete that. So let's just compare them to my actual voice. So this is my actual voice. Well, okay. Well, of course, of course, we're going to be covering all the latest AI tools and news that we've come across this week. And my new AI one. Well, okay. Well, of course, of course, we're going to be covering all the latest AI tools and news that we've come across this week. I mean, it's not perfect. It's, it's not uh, exactly the same as a natural voice. How could it be? Well, I'll say that. Give it four months. Um, but it's definitely usable. Um, so jump into the script. Have a go yourselves. As I mentioned at the beginning, it really does make a difference um, how you record it. So think about the style of voice that you want your AI voice to be in and try and record yourself in that style. We've just done a very quick and dirty test here, but um, it does make a massive difference. So just um, if you fancy it, head over to Descript.com and give it a download. Or if you've already got Descript, just update it, uh, give it a go and have a listen. Um, a lot of people ask me about the pricing. So I am on a paid plan. And I think for you to have AI voices, you need to have a paid plan. So here's the prices here. It does give you a version of the AI voices, but it only gives you a thousand words in its language. So any words it doesn't know, it replaces with the words jibber and jabber. So you can try it out without paying, but every few words you'll have it going jibber and jabber, which is mildly entertaining. Um... But yeah, for $12 a month to get that and you'll have the AI voices. And that is the new AI voice feature inside the script. Hope you found that useful. Give it a go yourselves. If you're interested in how we're using all sorts of different tools in our new digital company, which is called Flux QX, why not have a listen to the Meat Puppets podcast? New episode every Wednesday, a link in the description or wherever you get your podcast. You can follow us on Twitter where we share all the latest AI news. That's at Meat Puppets Pod. And if you have any questions about anything we've covered or have any thoughts about uh, what you've seen, um, I'll see you down in the comments below. Cheers and see you on the next one.